Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our WebDriver series, today we are going to see the LU reporting, the final part actually where we will discuss about how we can customize the LU report path actually. So, so far, if you have seen that, we normally used to give the LUR results. So if you see this particular path, this is the default path, which is normally generating in your the project directory. But not always we need to keep because if you see that the LUR results and then the LUR report both generates into the same project folder and then your project folder is kind of expanding. And it is difficult when we go further by adding more and more features, the folder structure will be increasing. So in that case, what we can do, we can take this LU result and the LU report into a local, into a different folder. Let's say that reports. Now under reports, we can say something like as uh, 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 reports slash LU and then inside that we will be keeping. But then it isn't the straight process that I have seen that normally what happens when you say LU results, this is in your like in your project directory right now when you say generate LU results the LU report this particular directory is creating on your project directory because we are not specifying any of the folder structure or the directory to that now couple of small changes that we need to do when you want to take these two directories into one folder and that is what we will be discussing now Okay, now to do these changes, what I'm going to do first, I will create a global directory actually here. So let's say under this, I will just say that let LU directory, some name I'm giving here. And then I will say that here dot slash reports, I will be creating a reports directory. And under this, I will say LU just to make sure that tomorrow, if you're adding any other folder structure, let's say that now it would be helpful for you to specify the specific report name actually there. Now after this, I will be taking this directory and adding the LUR results. Now if you go to the report section here, here right, so instead of uh, this one, I will be adding this variable and then I will say plus, that's it. You need to put this. Now the same changes we need to do in our on complete as well on that method. So let's get down to that. Now if you see that again the same thing, I'll just copy paste the same directory plus this one. Now here what I'm going to do, I need to specify the LUR report path as well because it always as I told when I say generate the LUR report is generating into my project directory. Now I need to specify that don't add that into the project directory rather add it to this LUR directory. So for this I will be adding another actually parameter here and that is hyphen O. Hyphen O is nothing but the output. Now where is that actually I have to give? Now that is something I need to specify the exact path actually this directory plus I will be giving the name of that file actually. Now here always make sure that you give a slash because we haven't given at the beginning and here I will say LUR hyphen report. Okay. Now what this will do, you know, first it will create the LUR results based on the report directory what I've specified before and then this generate command will create this LUR report on this location by the help of this hyphen O. Now the same thing we can change to the package.json. Let's say that you want to generate that LUR results report actually by using this package.json instead of the uncomplete method actually. The same concept. Now here I will come back to here and I will say hyphen O. That's it. Just you need to make sure that you need to change this much only. Now let's get back to this and we have already configured this one. Sometimes what happens uh, like as you would have seen that this LEO results will be creating under this report folder right or this reports directory under this. Now let's say I have to rerun again. What will happen? This particular LUR result normally instead of cleaning it, what it does, it appends that we have already seen this issue before before any of the test executes starts. I will make sure that this LUR results folder or this directory will be deleted. 
so that I can make sure that it always creates a new set of report actually there. Now see this earlier report I don't need to delete that because your hyphen hyphen clean this particular command always overrides this LEO report content but this there is no command to kind of delete this LEO hyphen results directory and then re-add the content and that is what we will be doing explicitly and for this we will be going to the wdioconv.ts and if you see that there is an option here another hook actually. so under this and this is very simple method actually we really need not to worry about that just i will be specifying some code actually the node.js or the typescript code to make sure that every time this directory the reports slash leo directory will be empty now for this i will be using the concept of fs actually now constant fs okay equal to I'll say require library. Now FS is nothing but the file system library. You don't need to really install anything. It is a default available with your Node.js. Okay. Now here I will say that FS dot. I will say exist. Exists actually. Now here I need to specify the directory that I'm looking for. Now I will say that let directory equal to see that LEO directory one is there right already now here I'm just making sure that this particular folder or the directory shouldn't be present actually if it is present let's delete it I can even put it a if condition here also so I will just make sure that if fs dot exists sync which one this directory then delete it now i can use the same fs command i will say that rm is uh, y sync and then i will say that this particular directory that path okay this particular folder and here i need to specify like this directory and i will be giving one option actually here and that is nothing but recursive now what is this recursive now what this does this recursive equal to true okay this will find out all the subfolders and folders inside this particular earlier hyphen results and it will be keep on removing them so that is the benefit of that okay so after this i'll just put a console.log just to make sure that this directory is deleted completely and i will be using a variable remember we have already used this kind of concept at the beginning of our session i'll just say that deleted okay and remember this is not single quote i have given the like the tilt uh, that uh, command actually i don't know what is that it's a evaluate quote actually i can say let's put it into a try catch block or else just for the safer side Let's say that I will be specifying some console dot error and I will just say that. Uh, now, sometimes what happens, let's say that for some reason, actually, this particular file is completely deleted. Actually, see, I don't want to really delete this particular path, actually, LU directory and this LU result. This should stay as it is only. For some reason, let's say that if it is if it got deleted, or let's say that this file never existed actually at that moment. Now for sure, this fs dot remove sync this will be failing. Now when it is failing, you capture that here actually into this catch block, and you say I think there is one more. Now see the the reason why I'm saying that I need to create this for some reason let's say that this directory is not yet existed now when I'm checking because it is not exist I'm checking that if this particular directory exists or not let's say that this try block will be throwing some error now what I can do I can have another if check here where I will say that if that particular file is not existed that's why I'm putting a not condition okay at the beginning and I will say this and I will just create it and I will say that fs dot make directory okay make directory s y n c
see normally what happens when i am putting into this reporter section this particular path right this lio reporter will automatically create this structure for you you don't need to worry about that in some case let's say that this method is completely deleting this path itself only then we are keeping this if condition to recreate that that's it okay so now what did what did we do we have added the folder structure at the beginning here okay where we want to keep our the lio result and then the report then i have specified the same location into my reporter section and i am just making sure that this folder if it is already exist from my last execution this lio results content deleted now this catch block is making sure that this entire path is always existed okay and then i am keeping the hyphen o here on the on complete method to make sure that the report will be generated into this directory rather than into the project directory that's it you don't need to do anything else now let's come back to this test uh, test form and into this specs now i won't be executing all of these uh, actually it blocks that's why what i did i have made everything as disabled here or i'm skipping this one i have added a simple it block just to make sure that this particular test will execute and i should get the folder path as i have decided actually okay now let's open my command prompt and clear it and rerun that now to run that npm run wdio okay so there is nothing actually to here it is doing it just pops up the browser and then closes it uh, a simple it, uh, expect statement which got passed and three got skipped actually all these three it blocks i have intentionally skipped it and you see that there is a reports folder created under that there is a allure folder inside this folder the allure results and allure report got created now if you just go to this html you should be getting the latest one actually let me open it into safari browser and you see that 25% of the test case got passed because out of four tests one test got passed and three tests got skipped now the beauty is that when i run the same test again it won't append actually to this like instead of four it won't show as eight that was the issue right before that's why i suggested that at every execution it's better to delete this particular lio results and that is what we have done by using the fs library let's see if that works fine or not so i'm rerunning the same test okay so everything works fine and the results also came and i would expect that it should give me the correct output only so let's again open it into the safari and you can see that only four test cases okay if we would not have handled that delete operation into this into the before shoot then it would have been appended the the before execution as well into this earlier html report okay so i think that's pretty much it about the earlier html report and by this uh, couple of sessions you would have understood about how to use the earlier html report and how you can analyze that so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel we will be seeing some more interesting topics in our upcoming series thank you for watching